Hey there, so in this post, I'm gonna discuss the common POS system features you need or features you probably don't need for your retail store or your restaurants. DX your life and business, helping you in digital transformation. So we are just meeting. My name is Dennis Hilario and I give you my best thoughts and my best tips about digital transformation, business process automation, innovation, and productivity. So if you're new in this channel, kindly consider subscribing and smashing the like button so I can help my channel reach out to more people like you. So what is a POS or a point of sale? So a POS or traditionally called a sales or cash register is a bundled hardware and software tool to capture orders in real time upon customer checkout and generate receipts and sales reports. But before talking about the software, let's talk briefly about the hardware and infra requirements. Needless to say, you'll need a POS machine that comes with a POS printer, cash register, uh, barcode scanner, touchscreen monitor, and an optional customer display monitor. There are two types of POS in the market. One is on-premise, meaning the software installed in the POS hardware, and cloud-based, which is a browser-based POS with offline transaction support. Obviously, you'll need an internet connection if you opt to get uh, the cloud-based POS. So a cloud-based POS is advisable, especially if you have more than one branch, as you want to have a consolidated sales report in your HQ. Some POS requires a back office app that consolidates POS terminal transactions if you are operating with more than one terminal. In this case, you will need a local area network or LAN. If you are operating in the Philippines, the government or the Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR is requiring merchants to purchase the POS from a BIR accredited POS vendor. This is to make sure that the POS is compliant with BIR reporting requirements such as the XYZ reading, uh, sales reports, and tax reports. Now, once you have decided to go on-premise or cloud and you have shortlisted your POS vendors, then let's jump on the different features you need or probably you don't need for your small business. Let's talk about the basic features first. So number one, of course, you have to have like a seamless sales entry like touchscreen for retail or table layout for restaurants and support for barcode product scanning, quick keys and product lookup. This feature is important because the nature of retail operations is fast paced. You have to ensure that you capture your sales and print sales receipts efficiently and with less friction. For restaurants, a waiter kiosk or a mobile device to punch orders integrated with a kitchen or bar monitors or order slip printers and also a customer tab or, or bill management to merge or split bills, add orders or cancel an order. Table management for transferring and merging tables is also advisable for restaurants. The next feature is the management of returns, refunds, and credits with controls and audit trail reports. Purchase returns and or refunds are inevitable in a retail transaction. Hence, this is an essential feature. Controls and audit trails, on the other hand, are important to prevent pilferage and manipulation of transactions by the employee, which is sadly common in this industry. Usually, a POS requires a supervisor override on every purchase return or any unusual transactions. Next is price and discount management. So by default, a senior citizen discount or PWD, tax or VAT exempt options should be available, but an option to create a custom discount with supervisor control should also be considered to set up pricing for VIPs, employee discounts, and whatnot. Next is real-time inventory on hand report. So inventory visibility should always be available to make sure the store replenishes stocks on time to avoid lost sales. Next feature is support for multiple payment methods like cash, credit card, uh, or you know multiple payment methods in one transaction or multiple currencies if you are operating, say, in an airport. So those are the basic features of a typical POS system. But before we proceed with advanced features, I want to introduce my Business Process Automation Workshop. It is an online one-on-one -on -one coaching session to help you in your business process automation and digital transformation such as implementing a POS or uh, your back office accounting and ERP implementation. I can help you choose the best software tools and vendors in the market down to implementing them. So to learn more about this, feel free to you know contact or email me in the below description. For the advanced features, contactless ordering and payment with an optional QR code scanning have recently risen 
due to the pandemic, but this is something fancy that you might want to have. Next is loyalty programs to capture and accumulate points for a customer are also a trend if you want to establish your brand and provide gifts and rewards to your customers. Next advanced feature is e-commerce, mobile or web for order ahead with pickup or delivery option. It's also a fancy feature if you want to capture customers who are on the go or if you have an in-house delivery process. Lastly, most POS also has a feature to capture employee time in and time out to manage their timekeeping and productivity. So there you go. I hope I have provided you value in choosing the right POS for your retail or restaurant operations. So again, if you wish to learn more, feel free to contact me in the below description so I can understand your requirement better and provide you the best POS in the market here in the Philippines. So thank you so much for watching DX Your Life and Business. Have a great day.